Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on Wednesday. It's a beautiful day here in California. We actually have sunshine. This morning, we had the Thule fog. It was foggy. It was really I weird. Love that. I love that look. I don't want to drive in it. No, but it's... But we're definitely in more of a wetlands area, and uh, we used to have so much... Um, really super dense fog almost like you would see oh my gosh it's a liam neeson movie rob roy if you guys have not seen that movie where like he's being hunted and then the tule fog comes in and you literally can't see anything and he escapes one of my top movies you're gonna have to watch it i don't know that one it's not um, like normally he's like guns and spy things. This is literally set in Scotland, if mm. you like that type of stuff. Yeah. So I'm curious how many people out there have seen Rob Roy? Hello, Crystal and Pam and Kathy and Nancy and everyone else who hasn't had a chance to say hello yet. Um, I'm trying to think what other movies. What would be your all-time favorite movie? I know it's probably something <laughs> weird. Uh, my go-tos are Despicable Me, Megamind, and... What's Megamind? Oh, it's an awesome animated movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think um, Rob Roy is the one that I'm talking about. Okay, I like Despicable Me. Despicable Me. I have only seen it a couple times. Oh, Lord, I watch it all the time. I love it. It brings you joy. It does. That one in The Incredibles. Ooh, I, like the first, Incredibles. I like the first one of all of them. I don't mm -hmm. care for the follow-ups. I'm curious, to those that are watching live... What's your go-to movie oh. to see when you want either? I have two, a pick-me-up and I need to cry. Oh, my other favorite is the A&E of Pride and Prejudice, Six Hours. Holy Toledo. Yeah. Nice. Nancy said she saw the Bob Marley movie. If I want to cry, I watch Beaches. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That'll get but you. But do you know how it's like you you just kind of release all yeah. the emotions? Yeah. That would be one. Or. Oh, Pretty Woman. That's a good one. Oh, I love Pretty Woman. I like Pretty Woman. Pride and Prejudice. Um, If you haven't seen 1883, mm -mm. it's so good. But that last, I don't know if it's the last episode or two before it. I mean, you're just so sobbing your guts out <laughs> and even though i know that's i've seen it like three times i would say it again i love it thank you deb i'll be talking about my uh sweater later Step Brothers, if you want to laugh i like that crystal somebody said grease already out of my view here yep good fresh fresh from florida i love that do you um everyone who's watching do you knit and crochet um while you're watching tv or the movies at your house, like what's your favorite go-to? I feel, for me personally, I listen a lot. Yeah. And then Jack will be like, he'll elbow me, and oh, it drives me That's crazy. So rude. But he wants me to see something, and I'm like, I don't need to see it. Say something. I'm sorry. No, because yeah. I probably tuned him out already. Well, true. <laughs> there is that. You're talking to me? Um, but I do. I listen a lot. Yeah. Knit during TV and audio books. Yep, TV, TV. I feel like I can't just sit there and watch TV. I have to multitask because it be brings me joy. My hands get a little twitchy. I'm like, I need to do something. Woo! Bev yes, says too. it's 42 degrees. Burr. I'm wearing a linen sweater. <laughs> but I do have something underneath it. So I am, yeah, well, layer. I'm wearing a jumper. So I, of course, I have something underneath it. But yes. I love this. Every, everyone, yeah, it's a way to do it. That's why I want a driver so I don't, I can yeah. sit there like um, driving Miss Daisy and have someone drive me and I get to knit at the same time. Good morning, Eileen. Karen Kashiwagi sent us the complete list of Crayola crayons. I'm going to print it out awesome. and laminate it. It's amazing because it's all the words that are on the tip of my tongue when I'm describing colors. So, we have lots of good things we're going to be talking about today. A brand new spring 2024 yarn that we kind of talked about last week, what people would want in it. And 
uh, when I went back and looked at the comments, this was the number one combination what people would want in a cotton blended yarn. And I'm going to say there is no coincidence to this. Miraculously, <laughs> we got it in. I was like, look at me ordering something people would want. I'm so excited because I want to go home and machine knit something like this, right? Easy, nothing crazy. Maybe not even put yarn over and it two togethers. Maybe I could do that crisscross of um, mm, that drop stitch crisscross one. Uh, no, no, because I'm gonna machine knit it. That's in our Parisian Serenity where I did oh, a cross. Yeah, yeah. That would be pretty. Something like that. Oh, long list of colors it is. So I'm excited about that. And we have a brand new accessory, fresh from the market. I'm really excited about this. You guys know I'm always looking for the perfect thing to go to concerts. Um, that have a little bit of room that I could put my knitting in it. So this object, you can bring your knitting in and it also meets all the regulations for concerts, sporting events, any type of venue. I looked at about 12 different ones to make sure. Um, thanks, yeah. Stacy. <laughs> that was funny. This is my bracelet from my mom. So whenever I'm feeling um, unsettled, this is my mom's gold charm bracelet. Um, and it's my best piece of jewelry, but it just reminds me of her. And there's something I did cut off some of the snaggy bits ones, but there was one that I bought. I was thinking when I had my kids, I bought my mom gold charms, but they're really thin ones, but they're super snaggy, which drives me crazy, but I'm leaving it on. So yes, it's my mother's. You thank them, you. Thank you. You can put them on a necklace. I could, you know what I did? I cut them off and I give them to my sister. Oh. Um, okay. I'm the one out of my sisters. I wear the most jewelry. I work not in my home. My sister works from home. So she has lots of my mom's jewelry. This was the only piece that I wanted because I was like, okay, I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket. I only want one piece and I want this. So I do. I wear it quite a bit. Um, Holy Toledo. I'm thinking maybe you forgot the uh, P-R-I-Z-E. I did. All right. So she'll get that. I'll start talking about the grand prize. We've got one skein of Savvy, which is super bulky at 130 yards. This is color wet stone. So pretty, all those mini colors in there. We've got three patterns to go with it. We have bottle opener, nice little super bulky hat. We've got headlong, which is another hat. Kind of like CC Beanie, only our version in super bulky. River Rock, which is a really nice cowl, super easy pattern. I think most of these are like what four row repeats. Yes, I like really, I like patterns that I can just enjoy knitting and yeah. not have to really uh, work too hard. Frankly. We've got our Rainbow Bites, which are freeze dried Skittles, and OMG, are they good? So good. Mm -hmm. The best flavor. Ooh, I saw real Charleston shoes at the store last night. Mm, you know who has them? Winco. Smart and Final, too. Oh, okay. Yes, Winco has all the good candy. Yeah. This is our enameled pin. That, or not pin, it's a magnet. Super strong, will hold your shawl, your jacket. Kristen, yay! Is she on? Good morning. On. How is it going? Got some harmony hearts here. Thank you. I love these. Two different sizes. We have the large pink and the small red. It's just a little bit of uh, therapy in a, yeah. in a pro uh, product. I love it. Good morning, Trish. All right. I don't know where you're at. We got the scarf. I love this one. This is a cashmere blended scarf in the most gorgeous chocolate brown color. It's about 14 inches wide. And it has the most beautiful fur palms. So soft. It is. And it's not even For washed. For how soft it is. You yeah. know? Yeah. I mean, I think it's more of a, be a dry clean because of the palms. I even thought, I know this is crazy, you could cut off the palms. Yeah. Sew them onto a snap. And then you have, I mean, it's like six or eight or ten eight. palms. Yeah. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And how you get entered into that daily prize is every time you make a purchase the month of February, and it's a leap year. You're going to get one entry. It is cumulative. So the more purchases you make, the more entries you get. We're going to be doing the drawing live on March 1st. So I'm excited about that. 
All right, our daily prize. This is a, a pattern we don't actually talk about very often, but I love it. This is Therma. It was one of the places that I went um, in, was it Greece? I think so. Yeah, this is Greek. Oh, yeah, this is Greek yeah. Isles. Thank you. I, I can never remember. Yeah. Um, but beautiful pattern. I originally knit it out of a merino cloud, so it works amazing. I'm going to say anyway or from DK to worsted because the gauge is 18 stitches over four inches. Very uh, fun, simple. It's a little checkerboard with double decreases and yarn overs. It is an eight row repeat. Uh, and we have one beautiful skein of a glitzy, let me get my glasses on to see what's in it. This is, um, I think someone donated this one. I think, I think it's so. really pretty. Um, there is acrylic, mohair, and metallic yarn. I mean, it's all the, meta the metals. We've got gold and silver and platinum. I like this root beer color. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. So one lucky person's going to get that skein. Oh, I love it. Except for the twisted part. Well, okay, Nancy, just leave it twisted. You've just done a Mobius. That's what I would do. I would not take it out. If you're not that if you're not that far into it, take it out. If you're if you've done a bunch, just leave it the way it is. No one's gonna know. That's actually a trick for making a quick Mobius. Yep. Oh, oh good gravy. It is good morning, Stephanie. Um, all right, so how you get entered into the daily prize, it's all about engagement. So every time you react to the video, whether it is a, um, you love the color that we're using, you like the project we're showing, great patterns, anything you want to do, you want to give us a little bit of love, we will always take that. You think we're funny. So you're going to get one entry for every one of those. Every time you comment on the video, you are going to get five entries for that. And what brings us real joy also is if you share to your friends, share to your stories. Here's the nice thing. It allows people who don't know there's a store like us that does daily shows. Um, in my local yarn store group, I'm the only store that does daily we're the only store that does them. Most people did it for a while during COVID, but honestly, I love it. Um, so share to your stories, share to your friends, share to Instagram, X, wherever you want to share. It allows people who don't know about us to find us and join us. We've had a lot more people coming into like yeah. um, the store, much busier, which is exciting. And um, newer people are joining us on Zoom too. So I love that. Thanks everyone for sharing. We really appreciate it. So based off of uh, yesterday's video, let's see who's going to be the lucky winner. Oh, all right. Is it not working? I don't know. Let's see. It should have. It should. Let's... Did I forget the... Oh, maybe. Maybe I forgot that button. Maybe. That's all right. Hold on. We got to work there our magic. Go. There we go. It's going to be the lucky winner. Oh, Kelly, Kelly Scriven. That just, makes me excited. She was just here yesterday, she right? She was. Yeah, she so took a mental health day. Kelly, you're a local, so next time you come in, let us know you have a prize, and we will get it from the cabinet for you. If you find you cannot make it the next time you place an order, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package. We still have one or two of these heart rings. I love these things. They don't look it, but they are elastic, which is pretty cool. You know, I have a bag. I already lost it. Uh, oh, it's behind you. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to let you start talking about the subscription for the not- so politically, politically correct, correct markers. Now I'm gonna say, stoppers. let me just say this, stitch stoppers. I know I say markers all the time. Um, people in the knit, sip and hook yesterday got to see two of them. Oh my goodness, really? Now without giving it away, those of you who saw them live, what do you think? I showed them the one with the, uh, this one. 
<laughs> yeah, you get um, two sets once a month, and we will start shipping in mid-March. Mid-March. We actually have them all in the boutique. They are here ready to distribute. We're really excited. I found the funniest. Some are really inappropriate. Some are not inappropriate. Well, they're still super edgy. We have Christmas ones, but so cute. We do have a limit of 25 subscribers. We're more than halfway done without advertising, uh, and we will start advertising at the end of this week. So if you are interested and don't want to miss out, make sure that you sign up for our subscription. I will put the link really quickly. Hold on. It's the last one of those, I think. Let me put that. Oh, good gravy. Is that one of the links that you put here? What do you, what? You wanted me to put the links up? I don't know if that's one of them on this button. Did you already do it? No. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I think I just did the two products we're okay. talking about. Then at least oh, but I right love spot. that we know that it's there, though. So what we have to do in advance, put that stuff in. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. So... Oh, thank you. Nancy says she's grateful that we still do lives. I love lives. Nice. It's really fun for me. Um, you are not going to get charged until your uh, package ships. And who doesn't like an inexpensive subscription box going into your thing? Uh, Sharon Peterson at hello. I don't know what that is. But hello, hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Pam saw it. There all right, are we going to talk about accessory, amazing accessory, or brand new spring 2024 yarn? You guys get to decide. You get to decide. And we're waiting. I'm going to do oh, the one that says yarn. first five together. Good morning, Joyce. Two yarns that I see. I love it. Okay. Three, three yarns. Ooh, well, that's already yeah, three I mean, yarns is I, already oh, it. We got one accessory. Okay. Well, you guys are in luck. I'm going to show both. Uh, but we are <laughs> going to start with a brand new yarn for spring 2024 from one of my favorite um, unhand dyed companies or non hand dyed. I think they are in two different categories a hand dyed and massive produced. This company works really hard to have organic, fair trade, um, just high micron count. You guys order it all the time. Some of their other favorite uh, favorite yarns, Cumulus, Cumulus Apple, Cumulus Rainbow, 14, um, Moonshine Fine. Does anyone know which one it is, who I'm talking about? Beatrix yep. is another one. Who am I talking about? I know, I know. I know. I, I use Beatrix for my sweater. It's not there anymore. Oh my gosh, my sweater's up Isn't there. Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous. All right, well, I'm going to tell you guys, we're talking about uh, a new yarn from Juniper Moon Farm. I love her stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the perfect blend for really most people in all seasons. It is a cotton wool blend. Nancy says she needs green. You need green? Okay, yes, we can do that. All right, so this is Juniper Moon Cotton Merino. Okay, the ball is huge. It is. It's 100 gram. It is a worsted slash Aran, easily knits up at an Aran weight, somewhere between 16 to 20 stitches over four inches. Uh, here's what I love about this one. It is organic cotton and knife. 19 micron count merino wool which makes it crazy soft it's a little harder to see in this colorway but the tube is the cotton and the wool is blown into it so you can kind of see a little shiny um eye cord essentially yeah. I was watching a video on the different constructions and it chain at constructions tend to be warmer because the heat gets trapped in the tube and it keeps you warmer all around uh, this is as you can see it has the organic 
cotton um, award. I guess it would be award seal, probably seal certificate. It is mule sing free, so it protects the animal. It is a machine wash lay flat to dry. Look at this yardage, 229 yards wow. per awesome. skein. Uh, this color is chalk, color 01, an absolute natural. It's squishy. It's soft. I am going to knit something out of it. Um, this is where I get starditis, right? I just want a really yarn. simple, gotta... like what I'm wearing right now, but yeah. just change a few things. We need to cast on with new yarn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you probably two colors, and then I'm going to show you patterns. We have amazing pattern support, whether you're a knitter or a crocheter. If you like sweaters, if you like accessories, I think that's one of the things we bring to the table is we're not just showcasing the yarn. We're giving you amazing ideas, not only for new yarn purchases, but for looking through your stash or previously bought things. You can find the links for all of these on our YouTube channel, Natique Yarns, and you can also find it in our private Facebook group, Natique Collective. Um, all you have to do is ask to join. We let you join. It's simple, simple, Simon. Okay, this one really showcases the two colors because the cotton is undyed. So it has a white hue to it. This is color uh, coal number two. So the cotton is the white. The black is blown through. You get that halo that everyone is looking for by pairing a mohair with it. It is fantastic. Uh, Deb says she used Juniper Moon for a couple of cowls for Christmas gifts. I tried something and I can't see the comments anymore. I don't know. I tried doing the link thing and it rotated. Did the screen rotate on everybody else? I mean, it's not for me. Well, I flipped it back because I'm like, uh-oh. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's see some pattern support that we think would be amazing for this. We have, with one of these, you can do... Probably two hats if you're going to do like an adult small, which most people would be in that range. This is a swirl hat. Very cute. I like this little detail that you get here. I like that even the, do, the decreases are happening in this section, which allows the swirl to go all the way to the top. You remember Odessa? I love Odessa. Similar to that with mm -hmm. beads. Okay, here is a worsted weight Sophie. You need one to two skeins. That's it. Even I like the bigger Sophies. Um, the small ones are great for a little detail, but I think for something like this that you're actually going to wear it out and about would be gorgeous. Sophie is very simple. Petite Knit has done a great job. Lots of garter stitch. Very, very easy to do. Um, it's worked back and forth. In garter stitch with I-cord edges makes it really easy to do. You wouldn't even need to swatch. This is something I wouldn't yeah. swatch. I would just use an eight or a nine. Call it a day. It's going to be what it is. Weigh your yarn uh, and keep increasing till you've used just about half of it and then start decreasing. Very easy to use most of it. I'm curious, how many out there have done Sophie's already? I have started one. It's in my UFO pile. Um, but I have not actually done. Oh, Nancy, I says it. Yes, it would, Pam. That's one of the uh, suggestions that I saw. And we have gorgeous. If you want to do it a similar color, I'm going to show you. Ooh. Pam and I have a two sweaters that we bought yarn for, but haven't actually done. Look at this one. Color Mimosa. Number seven, it is really, you have hints of butterscotch, goldenrod, and sunflower yellow all mixed in. You can really see it in the halo of this one. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show one more, then we're going to show you more options. I'm I only show this one because of the other one, but I was showing neutrals first. This is color number three, Dove. That's pretty. It is sterling silver, um, a hint of pewter, and a little bit of charcoal. But you can you can see it's marbled. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? You guys, so soft. To have 
this much yardage, 229 yards in 100 grams, is unheard of, especially with it being cotton, tends to be a little bit heavier of a fiber. It's because it's lace weight cotton that the 19 micron count merino is blown through. That's just crazy. Crazy. Okay, here's another fun sweater. I thought this would be gorgeous. This is Ingrid by Petite Knit. You would never get bored with this one. No. Now I'm going to say I never do the um, rolled collar. I don't need it for where we live. I don't like it. It makes it too thick for my neck. So I just do a regular ribbing. Remember, it's just a recipe. As long as you're getting gauge, you can change some details without really affecting the pattern. So if you don't want all this ribbing, two by two ribbing going to single, you could just do two by two ribbing all the way through. Just do one by one, uh, cast on, do one by one and do half the length. Don't sew it down. How many of you out who are watching today are comfortable changing the patterns? A little bit. Oh, I did a lot of sweaters up here. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is for people who haven't done a lot of knitting. This would be cute on the machine it because would. you would just have to hang every other row, switch something. I love this little boat neck. Um, it does have a high-low hem. You could do that. You could not do that. You don't want that. You don't have to. Um, it looks shorter in the front. Part of it is this isn't on her shoulder seam. It's kind of pulled back. It needs to be... Um, aligned correctly. You can see it by here. Her seams a little on the back. Very cute. Very wearable. Uh, I love pairing something like this with a stretchy skinny jean or so that it's, you know, you offset skinny legs and a wider top by having something like this. This is cute. Now, for most people, three to seven skeins. That's amazing. This is brand new for 2024. Good job. You found this one. Melanie says sometimes she changes the pattern by mistake. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, that too. Yeah. I love this simple sweater. There's a cropped fit. This is easy. Split hem, drop shoulder, positive ease. It's just comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. You are going to want to find out what ease you like on your own sweater. So it's really interesting. So it tells you. I love this. This is my way to do it. She, this is shown on a size four with 11 inches of E. Wow. But you just find out which one that you would want to do. So let's one, two, three, four. So 45. This gal's full bust probably is only like a 34. It's like a sweatshirt, hmm. comfortable, nothing crazy. I love it. See, I love this. To find the size you want in it, decide how much positive ease you want. Perfect. I say measure your favorite sweatshirt. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay, I thought this would be gorgeous for a spring sweater and do short sleeves. Yeah. Um, there is great options in this. I even think these two, if you wanted to play it really simple, using color number one and color number two coal, you guys will see some fantastic colors I'm going to showcase. Uh, definitely, I'm showing you the lightest ones, but there are many, many more coming through. I believe we had uh, 12 colors in this line. For people who like that really light, delicate pink, this is color number four petal. I mean, this would be beautiful together. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. And another light one. This is color number eight which is called Bubble Mint. Bubble Mint? That's bubble funny. Mint. I think any of those with this one is going to, I mean, look at that. would be great. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. The cream's going to go with absolutely everything. If you're picking colors, uh, you could do something like this one, color number two coal with this. I think this one's And this isn't my color at all, but I would wear this. They call it jade color number nine. I don't, it's not jade at all. I see aqua. I see Aegean blue. I see a little bit of cerulean and some cobalt. Do you guys see all those colors? It almost looks uh, zebra-ish. A little bit. Really pretty. 
in color work, the best way to decide if you've got it good, even if you're on our website, take a photo of the screenshot, take out all the color, and you need to see a high-low contrast. Easy. Yep, it works like wonderful. It's magic. It is. Magic. Even when we're picking skeins for everyone, if you order two, three, four of our hand-dyed yarns, we lay them up, we do a picture, and we pick the ones that are the most suited for you. All right, we've got more patterns. Let me try and find an accessory. All right, here we go. This is the Essex beanie. Um, this is, I believe, crocheted. It is. This is a crocheted hat. Wow. I know, you wouldn't even know. For those of you who love crochet, oh my gosh, you get the look of knitting with the quickness of crochet. How'd they do that? It, I mean, I would say it is, well, let's see. It should be, normally it's Tenacious that look, has mm, this look. Yeah. Ooh, oh, slip stitch, half double, working in the back loop only. Wow. It is not Tenacious, I don't think so. Nope, just using eye hook. Okay, I'm curious, how many people, the crocheters out there, would want to class in something like this? I would definitely uh, do a sample. That is cute. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got this fun hexagon market bag. That is crocheted. I think that's really cute. Do it in three colors. Lightweight, uh, easy to take care of. I like the wider strap, so it's easier on your shoulder. Because nothing's worse than these skinny little mm -hmm. market bags filled with stuff. I normally do it, you know, much wider than what it says. Got a couple of people interested in that hat. All right. Okay, we've got this. I have never seen this one. Silly slipover. I like that her designs can be made, and I'm thinking this is petite knit because she's right. in everything, but that her design could be worn just like a vest, or you could pair it over a long sleeve shirt. And this little detail right there, that's just knits and pearls. You would use markers. That's it. Markers to make sure you have each section done correctly. All right, we have the double braid beanie. This is exactly how the yarn would look, that you're going to see highs and lows and bits of colors peeking through. Doing it out of merino and cotton, or cotton merino, but merino stabilizes the cotton, so it's not going to stretch out if you were doing all merino. I love this really big, it's almost like I corded look. They must have a pearl in there that kind of right. shrinks it in because you get the look without all of the look. That's beautiful. Here it is in basically a creamy variegated. Just another way to look. It does look like there's eye cords though. You lose the pattern in that. Yeah. It's got to, it's just, no, do you, you can know, yeah. see right here and then they, I think they I have a pearl right there. Yeah. I'm voting pearls, not eye cord. I think what are the tags? What do you mean the tags? Oh, they don't have very many. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll tell you right there. The attributes. Yeah. Okay, this is fun. The Leon sweater by Petit Knit. Very French to have uh, striping. I forget what that's called. But you want to fit in, wear a striped sweater. Really? Mm hmm Well, okay, maybe not white tennis shoes. But even that, <laughs> it used to be white tennis shoes were American. It's not like that anymore. Mm. Okay, love this color, chambray, color number five. It is the most denim blue, but all shades. You have that really light acid washed, and then you have little bits of a mid-wash blue. I like it because it's a not a cool blue, it's a warm blue. I mean, oof. the next one would be perfect with the cream. For this, this is Starry Nights number 12. You just pair it like that. Pretty. So far, Susan, what's your favorite? The two blues, I think. They're really pretty. Yeah. All right, who wants to see more patterns? I think that's what it is, Pam. 
Joyce would like to do it. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. So cute. Gray with, okay, this would be gorgeous. Yeah. This green uh, warms this up. You can definitely start to see some of the other colors in that. All right, we have three more colors and so many more patterns to show you. I'm going to let Susan describe her favorite color. This is Innocence, number six. Oh, what a lovely name. This is all shades of pretty purple. It's definitely got wisteria in there. And I'm orchid. I was going to say the violet red. A mm -hmm. little bit to that. A little so. bit. And the cream, of course. This is so pretty. This is just right for all us purple people. I like that you're getting, you can really start to see all the shades. There's definitely some um, violet red. There's the lavender wisteria. And the orchid is like that blue pink. So beautiful. I'm trying to get some semblance of order to all the colors. Oh, sorry. These two together would be nice and pretty. You could do a striped Very sweater sorry. out of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. That would kind of be your take of it, you know? A little bit. A little bit of purple. Okay. This is uh, Cerise color number 11. It's really a, you're going to see reds in it. Like right over here, you see reds. You see some violet red and some red violet. Remember, uh, violet reds leans more purple, red violet leads more pink, and then you can you can see hits of blood red, which is one of my favorite colors. Would this work on the machine? Absolutely, Melanie. I am going to be testing it out on the machine. I bet it works really. I think really it's well. going to work great. Very You're going to be at the higher end um, of, the of the gauge. Like you'll probably, I'll probably start swatching on a seven. Yeah. Which is not equivalent to a seven needle. So don't, it's different, different. Oh, no, it'd be beautiful. Normally you're not doing anything over um, worsted or an Aran weight is t tends to be the top of what your machine will handle unless you wanted to do every other stitch, which I don't like that. It stretches it out too much. I did that on a for real blanket for my mom. Really? And stitch. it worked? Yeah, it did. Yeah. 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 All right. We've got a few more patterns, actually quite a few to show you. Oh, it's only 1038, but we can dip into the patterns. Isabel Kramer, one of my favorite designers. She's just got this knack for classic wearable knits. This has a little diamond pattern. It would showcase well in this yarn. Um, it's a little bit oversized. Now she's tiny like a toothpick. So it, let's look on other people. Ooh, interesting. Cute though. Let's see. I always want to see it on people. Okay, here's go. yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Pretty. So cute. All right, that's a nice one. If you are a crocheter, I think this is gorgeous. And I know um younger women would absolutely wear this. This is something my daughter for sure would wear, my daughter-in-law. This does not look hard. I love the flouncy sleeves on this, and it's really, this looks very easy to do. You'll do some increasing, but how cute is oh, that? Oh, she tightened up the cuffs. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like the flouncy better. They're a little too long, or maybe you do half the flounces. Yeah. So it's not quite so big. Let's see what this is. This is new for 2023. I love this in a lot of crochet wear we're not seeing sizing but this is a two extra small all the way up to a seven xl fantastic i love this it's for a pattern not a finished sweater yeah. i know isn't that sad they have to write that this is top down little to no sewing at all you make two panels connect them add the length oh my gosh i love this nice She's got a whole bunch. Everyone needs to look at her if you're a crocheter, Anastasia R. Smith. She's got fun stuff. All right, let's see the next one. This is Half Moon Bay. This is a Noro pattern, but it would be beautiful out of this yarn. I'm going to point out something um, just for sizing for people. You can see that there's wider down here. 
than here. What this is, is her hip measurement, as is most are most women, is bigger. So you need to do either cast on, if this is bottom up, you cast on for your hip size and you decrease at the side seams to get the size that you want every two inches or it just depends what it is. If you need help with um, sizing, our all skills classes are perfect for that. I think this is very wearable and I like that it would all be the same. For my mind's eye, you guys know, I like it kind of same, same. Um, Arthur, simple. I, got, I just have to see, I'm praying that's- I think it's ribbed. I as hope. you go. Yeah, I hope. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, then that's a good one. The button band is knitted at the same time as the body. I'm just going to say, if you ever see a pattern that you knit this separately, they're English patterns. Sorry, Pam. And then you have to sew it. No, thank you. No, no. Steer away from that project. That is not for the faint of heart. And it is not fun at all to sew. In fact, we don't want those jobs. You want that job? No. Let's just no, say it's, it's not affordable. It's not. Okay, this is another one that would be perfect for this yarn, The Weekender by Andrea Mowry. For those of you who have a machine, you can do really all of this on the machine if you're comfortable with dropping your stitches. I did, a lot of times I do the ribbing by hand, hang it on the machine and do the rest. I have done a short sleeve version of this. I've done one with cashmere. You'll see Susan wear that one too. It's cute, um, different color at the top. That's the only place I put a different color, not at the bottom. It breaks you up, but it, it'll bring your eye up. And her patterns are fabulous. All right, if you're looking for a little shawl, we've got a mosaic knit, lots of easy ribbing. A mosaic is just, um, ooh, this is gorgeous. You only use one color per row and you slip the one that you're not actually using. So it's knits and slips, and you generally do two rows and then pick up the other color and do two rows. What absolutely one of my favorites. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is Street Smart. Nice little jacket. Interesting um, that it's all the way up there. I like <clears throat> that look. And look at the diagram. Wow. I love stuff like that. Okay, here's another one, Rebel Cardigan by Anka Strict. I think this would be nice because again, all seasons, but really three main seasons, and you get the halo without stranding two yarns together. So it ends up saving you money, not having to buy two yarns to create that same look. I have people in my Thursday night class knitting Anka, this uh, Rebel. Uh, Lakes Pullover, we're just showing you really easy stuff. I like the saddle shoulder. The saddle shoulder. You can see how you could just do ribbing at the end of that because it's a drop sleeve and you're done. Or you knit the whole sleeve. That's one way to avoid sleeve island. Make everything yeah. short sleeves. If you'd like to do a blanket, this is Suzette's Lapkin. Crocheted. Crocheted. That's beautiful. It looks like all these little bobbles. Really cute. Let's see what yardage on that one, 1875. So we're talking six, not bad at all. We have the spiked oh. cotton. I don't know if I would do a dishcloth. I dish thought it was a this. cowl when I picked yeah, that one. Yeah, that would be pretty if it were a cowl, but not, not a dishcloth. No. Here's another Tony Lipsy. She's got great crochet patterns. Fun way to knit something if you're in the warmer climates, but you need a little bit of warmth in the summer. That'd be a great option. We have this gorgeous shawl. Again, crocheted. I love how she's, it's a big like blanket scarf. We have the Pacific Coast Wrap. This is knit. There's a really good picture of it. So you can use different colors and then you transition from one to the other. I love these big tassels. Um, we have a tassel maker that we, I think we still have it. Yeah. But I'll have to look. The tassel maker makes it so much easier to get perfect tassels each time. 
And this is going to be our last one for the day. Love this. This is the Cardi V-neck. Now, see, they're using three yarns held together to create a worsted weight. You could just do a worsted weight because when you're looking at this yardage, you're like, holy crap, 4,000 to 5,000 yards. Beautiful. And lace weight, you do get more yardage. But isn't that pretty? The sleeves look voluminous. Oh, yeah, they're big. Mm -hmm. Pretty. And you know what? I have one last color to showcase. For all for the Mackies out there, we have gorgeous color number 10, Kumquat. Uh, it is a rich pumpkin orange. Very beautiful. All right, I have a few patterns from the company. So anyone purchasing today this yarn, we will, um, you know, if there's one that you love, I'm going to tell you how many you need to purchase. Uh, and while supplies last, we will include this one. So this is Elena. This is a crocheted swancho. You can really see the halo in this one. A small and a medium take three balls. A large and an extra large, which goes up to, um, I mean, there's definitely positive ease on this. A 44 uh, takes four. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is using an eye hook. If you're looking to do something a little bit on the smaller size, we have Amara. That takes one skein. So uh, in the notes section, you can just write what pattern you're interested in with your purchase and we will include it while supplies last. Amara is one skein of Innocence, which is the purple that Susan loves. US 9 needle knits up at 15 stitches over four inches. That is really pretty. We have Amelia, which is a stripy um, shawl using um, actually, there's three colors, one skein of chambray, two skeins of the dark starry night, and one skein of chalk. So that's a total of four. It's a nice size wrap, 32 width by 44 long. And I saved the best for last. I think this is beautiful. This is Luna. I think you're never going to get bored with Luna. It's a very simple design uh, with lots of fun. Um, stitches on it. If you are going to knit a 32 to a 38, you need three balls. If you're knitting a 38 to a 44, you're going to need four balls. I'm going to talk to them. This is not very inclusive sizing. I missed the boat on that assignment. Absolutely. Uh, this is a double moss stitch in certain areas, then just starter stitch, yarn over, knit two together. There is some short row shaping that you're going to see um, right there. Is it in the round? I don't know, Melanie. Let me see. No, two separate pieces that you seam. But here's the thing. You could do it in the round by adding an extra stitch on each side and then, or sorry, um, you would subtract two stitches and then you just have to pay attention. I don't know if you'd actually be able to do this because right away they have a double moss stitch. Hmm. I don't think I would try to do that one in the round. I wouldn't. The moss stitch is a little finicky to ditch a couple. I just think it's very pretty, very wearable. And you can really see the halo right here in the collar. I just think it's so pretty. This, of course, is petal. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I didn't even show the other thing. You didn't. I'm doing it real quick because I'm like, oh, my gosh, we talked about it. See, look at that. Who could talk 40 minutes about yarn? Me. Okay, this is from the trade show. These are the most amazing clear bags. And here's why I like sometimes a bigger bag. I want to bring my knitting with me. And you just tuck your needles where they can't see them, no problem, right? And then you get into it. So this is the gold. It's If you have gone to stadiums or concerts lately, they are going to a clear bag so that they can see in it. 
Um, I like that there's a little pocket in the front Cute. to hold your phone. It's magnet. It is really well made. And then there is an adjustable crossbody that is wide. It is out of um, a webbing, a neutral webbing, which I think is really pretty. This more of a, a khaki color. You can see you can adjust it. I'm a big fan of a crossbody. I like that the clips swirl, so then it stays out of the way. You can make it short. One of the things that I saw at the trade show, which I love, they made it into like mm -hmm, a fanny pack. So let me show you. You can fanny pack this thing, and you can adjust it accordingly. And let me say, I make my fanny packs if I do it, which I haven't done it so much. My daughter's like, you need to do that when you're traveling a little bit more. Let me get the other side. It needs to be a little bit smaller. But look how thick that is. And then it just stays. You could put your purse over it. Very, very fun. But if you want a crossbody, okay, I love how easy it is to go from one to the other. I'm a big crossbody because I like being able to have it in the front. Yeah. And then my daughter wears a lot of her fanny packs. She wears them tight, and then it goes right at her chest like this. So that no one can get any of your goods. Thank you, Joyce. I love this. Well, you guys are all going to events in fantastic Vegas. This beauty is gold. And we have four other colors. Ever popular silver. For people who want a little fun in the sun, we have tangerine orange. These are under $33. Very wearable, gorgeous for you, a gift. I love this one. This is um, Mariner Blue. Oh, okay. It's not navy, and it's not quite as bright as a royal blue, but just the prettiest color. Uh, the detailing on all the bags is gold, which is very popular right now. And if you're a little traditionalist, We've got black. Now, for those of you who are a Giants fan, here you go. Your orange bag is perfect for you. Uh, these are while supplies last. It's going to be a one and done order. We're trying to do that a little bit more with our accessories, but the stitching is really well made. The hardware is beautiful. It opens pretty wide, so you can let me move some things out of the way so you can get in. Put, you could easily put your phone, a wallet, one small skein of yarn. Or one big skein of these because they're so soft and You could definitely put one of these in. You would have to squish it, though. Well, that would fit. But it would fit. But they don't know. I mean, they're, they're going to open it up, and they're like, what is it? A ball of yarn. Oh, okay. There you go. Perfect. Tuck your needles and your cords in there. Shazam. Just don't bring scissors. All right, um, I think we're going to head out. I'll let you talk about classes tomorrow with Karen. Okay. Um, but I want to open it up. Does anyone have any questions about what they've seen or um, comments, concerns, constructive criticism? If you don't want to do it live, you can also email me directly at hello at natikyarns.com. Uh, let's talk about what we're wearing. I am wearing Little Lulu. This yarn, this sweater would be perfect out of our uh, Linen Whisper. It's a beautiful uh, linen blend. This was a yarn that we had a while ago, but it's definitely linen. It's comfortable. It's drapey. Nothing's tight. There is definitely positive ease on this one, but I like that. It's just comfortable. And I just have, I bought these on Amazon. They're just, it's like a little... Cute. Overall, long sleeve, easy. Just if you have to pee in a hurry, not your friend, though. I'll just say that. Price point question on the yarn. The yarn is under, ooh, gosh, oh, they're not. $22.99. We didn't price them yet. We did not, but that is what Sounds the price about is. right. $22.99 for all that yardage, crazy good, which I love, love, love. 
Uh, just what you need. Yes, this is perfect for Golden One. I checked Golden One. I checked all the big arenas in the area on what the constraints were, and it fits into what they said. The sizing, um, like Cal, a lot of them you have to have clear bags. So this gives you both clear and the sizing. Uh, what are you going to try on? All right, we're going to turn around, showcase what Susan is doing. You guys can watch her get dressed. Oh, okay, you're going to showcase and then get dressed. This one is Kitation, which is last year by Casapinka. Last year, the year before. I don't remember. Lots of fun stitches in her stuff. If you have not done Casapinka, you never get bored. Lots of two color projects, but even look at this one. This side, it's um, hor horizontal striping vertical this one's horizontal and then it switches it's a little bit of alice in wonderland it's fun and how would you wear it like a bandana uh-huh and then use one of the magnets to hold it in yeah You'd be or a to cuff go. either one yeah yeah super fun project two skeins fingering all right all right peeps we are off we have our class today um 12 to 2 we've got all of our a lot of our classes are booked through April and what we're trying to do is give you plenty of time to sign up so you can arrange your schedule accordingly so um, we just want to say thank you for everyone who's joining us live or watching us later on our YouTube channel um, but we will see you tomorrow have an amazing day bye bye